All right, everybody. I found um, a great place to actually boondock um, other than Walmart. Um, it's in the Sports Authority. Well, it's next to the Sports Authority. Um, I can understand why people don't tell where they boondock because then you don't want too many people showing up and because then it becomes more noticeable when there are like more than one RV or more than two RVs here. But you know, if there, as long as there's like only two RVs, then I don't think it's going to be that noticeable or less, then I don't think it'd be that noticeable. But I'm the only one here and they have a side parking lot that is empty. I mean, this is how it was all day yesterday because we drove by it and I saw it. And um, actually, I wanted to wait and sleep overnight to make sure, you know, everything was cool. And I actually ate at that Carabas the other day or yesterday. And um, yeah, so it's off of 482 and it's next to the Carabas and the Sports Authority. And actually, this parking lot goes way down there and yeah it it stays pretty empty so if you're ever in orlando this would be a good spot to boondock for a day or two i didn't get bothered and i was here for a day so i don't know how two would go but it, like i said as long as there's not too many people using this spot then i think it'll be okay but yeah there was a car parked over there and a van parked over there so I think other people know about this spot, but I was the only RV. I believe my boondocking spot, the urban camping. <laughs> So um, I'm going to go ahead and head to Tampa and then go my course, which is then to Miami and then Key West. And then um, when I come back up the west side, I'll just shoot over to Orlando and I've already talked to my sister. And plus I didn't want to go by myself to um, the park, Disney, because I don't know. It just seems um, like it'd be more fun shared with somebody. So yeah, uh, my sister said she's going to meet me at Disney when I come back up so that's great I'm excited about that at least I know when I come back to Orlando I'll have more of a plan of what I'm gonna do come on let's have a little fun for a change Route for calculation. All right, I'm actually going Prepare to... Prepare to continue straight ahead, Shh. up 570 meters, on I-4, State Route 400. I still need to come up with the name for her. But anyways, um... Yeah, I'm stopping at this rest area real quick. That's a pretty nice one. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to stop here real quick just to make sure all the straps are good and, and everything's still in place. It's better to be safe than sorry. It'll only take me a second anyways. Prepared.
from Tampa, Florida. No trucks in the left lane. Ooh, cows. Boo. Oh, Sherwood Forest exit. Cool. All right, I'm only 29 miles out of Tampa, Florida. So not too far now. I just passed, well, still passing Lakeland. Everybody's such in a rush. Fly by, fly by. Dinosaur world! Woo! Yep, I'm definitely gonna hit that back up when I come back to Orlando. That's so cool, dinosaur world. Oh, there's a lot of RVs going on over there. Ah, the General RV Center. I don't think this trucker knows what he's doing. He got off at the exit and then he just got back on to US 4. And right back in front of me. tried to take me down these small, small, small roads. After 100 meters. Oh, this Walmart looks small. No tractor trailers, parking, absolutely no overnight vehicles. Okay, well. I might not be staying at this one then. God, this looks like an old timey one. Okay. Oh, this is definitely interesting, I must say. That is one small looking Walmart. Okay. Well, I'm washing some clothes. I only had one load to wash. Wash, sorry. 